Watch you guys, if you're getting the error code 0xc000000F on boot up and you can't get to your desktop or anything like that, I'm going to show you a way you can fix this error. Now this is a pretty uh, common error and what you're going to need to do is get another computer and create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows uh, on it. Okay, now we're talking about Windows 10 here, but this does affect Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. So what we're going to do is nip over to Microsoft and download the creation tool and get started with that. So here we are at Microsoft's website. What we need to do here is download the creation tool. Now, if you've got a Windows 7 machine, you will need to download that uh, from uh, Microsoft as well. I'll leave the links in the video description for you. But once you've got the media creation tool downloaded, say yes to the user account control when you run it and it should open and you should see this purple box. So whether you're using Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, you can create yourself a bootable USB flash drive. You will need to do different measures for Windows 7, of course. But uh, once we've done this, we can move on to the next step. Okay, so now you can see it's saying upgrade this PC. Now we don't want to do that. We want to create an installation media for our USB flash drive, DVD, or we can download an ISO file depending on what we want to do. Okay. But you are going to need another computer to do this because your main computer is not going to be booting because you've got that error message. So click next and it says um, use this PC recommended. We're just going to take that out and uh, you can choose which one you want here. You can choose both or 32 bit, 64 bit. Mostly they are for 64 uh, bit nowadays and we're just going to go ahead and go next here. So USB flash drive. Click next. It says it can't find the USB flash drive. Let me just refresh. So I'm just going to click on this here and remove this tick. You can leave this on if it's the same identical computer. But I'm just going to go next here and we're going to choose USB flash drive. I've already got mine plugged into the computer and you can see here it says it needs to be at least eight gigabytes in size. Go next and you can see it's been listed here. If it's not showing up here, then you can try the refresh uh, drive list and it should start to detect it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go next. And this will then create our Windows USB flash drive. We can then boot to this. And I'll show you what to do once this is finished. Okay, so here you go. We've booted up to our USB flash drive. And you can see now we got our installation part here go next and we're not going to click on install here we want to go to repair your computer and from here what you want to do is go to troubleshoot click on troubleshoot and from here what you're looking for is command prompt now you can try other things from here like startup repair and stuff like that and system restore uh, but you may have trouble trying to get it to work with those uh, so if they don't work for you, you can try what I would do in this sequence. I would try startup repair and also system restore. If you have system restore points, you can try to restore back to that. But you may find these don't work. And the only way to fix it is the way I'm going to show you right now. So go into command prompt. So the first command we need to type out is boot rec space forward slash MBR. And this is going to fix our master boot record. Then we can type out boot rec space forward slash fix boot. And then push enter then we can type out bcd edit space forward slash export space c colon backslash bcd backup this is going to back up our master boot record also we need to type attrib space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space dash h dash r dash s now we need to type ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old and then push enter now we can type out boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd now that should now fix and resolve your error code now all you need to do is type wifey yes and push enter and then you can type exit to come out a command prompt or you can just close it down 
and that's pretty much it you should have resolved and fixed your problem now don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell notification button to keep up to date when we upload new videos also that should have resolved your error and fixed it all you need to do now is reboot your computer and you should be good to go now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos